In the middle of February, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was in the Persian Gulf, Gulf region. In particular, she attended a conference that is referred to as the U.S. Muslim World Forum. Uh, that was a conference that was uh, held for uh, three days from February the 13th to the 15th. And then she toured some of the Middle Eastern countries, in particular uh, Saudi Arabia. Now, at the uh, U.S. Uh, Muslim World Forum in Qatar, uh, not only Hillary Clinton, but uh, a number of other American officials, uh, including Richard Holbrook and the um, former uh, presidential candidate, Democratic Party presidential candidate in 2004, John Kerry, Senator John Kerry, were also present. And they not only talked in terms of reinforcing their relations um, with these um, Gulf monarchies and potentates, but one of the points that came out clearly was that this forum was being used uh, to target the Islamic Republic of Iran. For instance, Hillary Clinton said in her uh, speech that uh, Iran was now going, to, going towards uh, a military takeover. And she specifically mentioned that the president, uh, the Rahbar, uh, the Iranian parliament, etc., were now under threat of being taken over through a military coup. What is interesting to note in uh, Hillary's uh, statements is that hitherto they referred to uh, re Iran as a theocracy. And all of a sudden, now they think that Iran is a democracy and now it is under threat of a military coup. Of course, this is American wishful thinking because they have never been able to understand Iran uh, properly or fully. America's desire has always been to try to undermine Iran's uh, Islamic political system so that Iran would revert back to a colony of the U.S., which is something that they, the people and the leadership in the Islamic Republic absolutely refuse to do. But what is disturbing in all this is that Hillary Clinton and American officials continue to use the Saudis in order to exert pressure on the Islamic Republic of Iran. For instance, Clinton urged um, Saudi officials to reassure China that has uh, deep commercial links with the Islamic Republic of Iran that the Saudis would supply the oil and energy needs of China and that they should break away from the Islamic Republic. Now, while the Saudis did not go along with this particular proposal, the Saudi Foreign Minister, uh, Saud al Faisal, actually stated that uh, Saudi Arabia would like to see some action against Iran sooner rather than later. This is a very revealing statement because we, we are now hearing that there are close links and close cooperation between the Saudis and the Zionists and that there is a new realignment in the Middle East that was previously hidden by the Saudis and the other Arab rulers because they were embarrassed by it. But now we see that not only Egypt and Jordan, but also Saudi Arabia have joined this evil axis with the Zionist state of Israel against the Islamic Republic of Iran, against Hamas in Palestine, as well as Hezbollah in Lebanon. It is becoming, becoming clear that uh, these regimes, as well as their uh, masters in Washington, are getting desperate because their policies are failing and they are unable to exert pressure on the Islamic Republic of Iran or to get Iran to toe the line that the Americans want. So we are likely to see more of these kinds of conspiratorial uh, policies being pursued. But so long as the people of Iran support their leadership, as they have done for all these 31 years, then I think... Uh, the future for the Muslims, the Islamic movement, the Islamic State is secure.